Hello guys welcome back to my channel. Our idol for today is one of the most famous Gravio idol of this generation. She won the Miss Magazine Grand Prix in 2018. She is now being called as the Rywa's Gravio Queen. Here is the interview about her journey on joining the Miss Magazine, and her thoughts about the Gravio world. When I was an idol, one of my seniors was accepted to the Miss Magazine pageant, and she said, why don't you take it too? I knew nothing about gravure at the time, and there was no one around me doing it, so I had no idea what to expect, but I hoped that auditioning would change something. In retrospect, I wanted a place to belong. I still remember that I applied for the audition light-heartedly, hoping that it would give me a place to stay. At first, I thought I did have a place. But I was thinking that I wouldn't fit in, or that I would disrupt the flow of the group, so it was hard for me to join. That time I was convinced that there was no place for me there. I had never worn a bikini in my private life, but strangely enough, I did not feel any resistance to it. I have never had a bad experience with gravure before, so I think that was really thanks to the staff around me. We were limited to three hours a day on showroom, but I didn't know how to divide my time between morning, noon, and night. I had a low ranking in showroom, and when I won the Grand Prix, some people questioned me, and I also wondered why. However, I was happy to hear later in various places that I was chosen as a result of not only the numbers from the delivery, but also the most important postcard votes and the reactions on SNS. The office at the time suddenly called me and my mother to a family restaurant. Actually, it was around the time that I was thinking of quitting the entertainment business, so I thought to myself, is he talking about quitting? Then, someone from the office told me, Miss Sawaguchi, this is really a great thing, and that I had won the Grand Prix. But I mistakenly thought it was only hypothetical, that I might win the Grand Prix. Before the Grand Prix unveiling ceremony, I went to a photo shoot on location for a photograph you with the girls from that year's Miss magazine, and I was standing in the middle, and it was there that I realized for the first time that I was the Grand Prix winner. In an idol group, competition is fierce, and I often couldn't keep up with the flow around me, so it was a time when I thought I might not be good at being a girl my own age. But the members of the 2018, Gekidan Miss Magazine, were all sketchy in a good way, and they reached out to me when I was trying to draw a line in the sand. They were the first people I could talk to in the entertainment industry who were my age. I still trust the members of, Gekidan Miss Magazine, to this day. It was also, Gekidan Miss Magazine, that gave me a new goal of becoming an actress. I originally joined Idols because I wanted to become an actress. But when I was in the Idol group, it didn't seem realistic. It was difficult to perform on stage in the group at the time, and my main jobs were handing out flyers and signing autographs. I wondered if I was good enough as I was, and I felt that maybe I didn't really want to be an actress. However, winning the Grand Prix and becoming a member of the Gekidan Miss Magazine kept me from giving up on that dream. I 
I thought gravure was fun, so I started to pursue it and wanted to do it more and more, and I think it was very fulfilling. I have been working hard on gravure, so I have a good, outer appearance, but I sometimes worry that I am not as deep on the inside as I should be. I have come to realize how difficult gravure is. But I am not being flattering, when I shoot for, Young Magazine, or, Shonen Magazine, I remember how fun gravure can be. It's a place where I feel extremely safe. When I first started gravure, I was really a child and had a lot of spoiled bratty behavior. It was the staff of Miss Magazine who told me not to do that, and I still can't thank them enough. When I was homesick after moving to Tokyo, they took care of me and talked about my hobbies with me, which really put my mind at ease. They have supported me in many ways. I am really glad I did it. As the leader of the gravure world, I worry that everyone is getting tired of me. Miss Magazine is announced every July and August, and I get so anxious that I think I'm going to get really sick. But I always check out the review pages of that year's Miss Magazine contestants, and it is a great source of inspiration for me. I believe that review will fade away if new winds don't blow constantly. I worry that people are getting tired of the fact that I have been in review for more than three years. I hope that more and more winds will blow in Miss Maga's direction. But I don't want to be outdone. I think I would have quit show business and become a university student, working hard on my love and studies. I moved to Tokyo last summer, but I was actually thinking of giving up on moving to Tokyo. I thought I would either get a job or go on to college. However, I still felt like I hadn't quite made it through Gravure. When I decided to pursue acting again, the staff at Miss Magazine gave me some advice, and after consulting with them about what kind of agency would be right for me, I decided on the one I am with now. I am truly grateful for their sincere support. me, Miss Magazine is, a place that told me it was okay not to give up on my dreams. No matter how many different places I have been, no matter how many different feelings I have had, Miss Magazine has always been there to support me. As the years go by, I feel more and more happy and proud to have won the Grand Prix. I really recommend Miss Magazine for group view auditions. The photo shoots for Miss Magazine are really fun, so I hope you will have a look. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my page for more Grivio Idol videos. See you soon.